Okay, welcome to the point of view mini story for the Hitch 3 lesson. Let's tell the same story again. This time we'll begin the story with the phrase five years ago. Five years ago, there was a cynic named Hurley. He didn't believe in love. He hated dating and romance. He wouldn't even flirt with girls or get a cell phone. Hurley's sister was overwrought, worrying about him. She said, Hurley, just try. You might meet a beautiful girl and fall in love. Hurley said, you are a lunatic. I'll never fall in love. Hurley's sister said, I predict you will fall in love. Then she gave Hurley a cell phone and said, this is for you. It will come in handy for dating. The next day, Hurley went to a coffee shop. He saw a beautiful, busty blonde woman. She saw him too. She walked over to him and said, you are so cute. Can I have your phone number? Hurley was shocked, but he gave her his cell phone number. The next night, they went on a date and fell in love. Hurley's sister called him after the date and asked, so, What's the dirt? Hurley said, well, you called it. I fell in love and I'm happy. It's just what the doctor ordered. All right, let's uh, tell the next story. Let's imagine that Hurley was not always a cynic. Maybe in the past he was a realist. Maybe in the past he was an optimist. Maybe in the past he was a romantic. But his heart was broken last year. Last year, his heart was broken. His girlfriend broke up with him, his ex-girlfriend. So, since last year, he has been a cynic. He has not believed in love. He has not dated, and he has not believed in romance since last year. Since last year, he won't even flirt with girls. And he has not had a cell phone. He has not gotten a cell phone. During this time, Hurley's sister has been overwrought worrying about him. She said, Hurley, just try. You might meet a beautiful girl and fall in love. In fact, during this time, all the time, she has said, Hurley, just try. You might meet a beautiful girl and fall in love. Every time, Hurley has said, you're a lunatic. I'll never fall in love. And every time during this year, Hurley's sister has said, I predict you will fall in love. One time she gave him a cell phone and said, this is for you. It will come in handy for dating. The next day after she gave him the cell phone, Hurley went to a coffee shop. He saw a beautiful busty blonde woman. She saw him too. She walked over to him and she said, you are so cute. Can I have your phone number? Hurley was shocked, but he gave her his cell phone number. The next night they went on a date and fell in love. Hurley's sister called him after the date and asked, so what's the dirt? Hurley said, well, you called it. I fell in love and I'm happy. It's just what the doctor ordered. Okay, you can hear in that one, in the beginning, when I talk about something that started last year and continued until now, that has continued happening, then I'm saying, you know, has been a cynic, right? Uh, has been overwrought. Uh, Hurley has said, meaning not just one time, but many times during the last year. And then we talk about a specific incident, a specific experience, a specific event, and at that time we switch back to the normal past tense because it only happened one time and it's totally finished. All right, let's do the future. Now with the future, it's a little strange. We, we don't usually tell stories in the future, to be honest. Uh, we make some predictions about the future. Uh, we might talk about the weather or something. But telling a story like this totally in the future, in fact, is not very natural. It's a little strange. It's not something we normally do. So that's why many times... When you hear the point of view stories, I will naturally switch back to the present 
or sometimes even to the past, depending on the situation. Um, because that's a more normal way to tell a story uh, in English. Um, and I do this, I don't even think about it. I, I try to tell it all in the future, but then I will naturally change back to another verb tense, just because, again, you don't usually tell a whole story like this in the future. You might begin it with the future, but then you probably would sometime switch back to the present tense for most of it. So I'm going to do it a little more naturally this time. I'm not going to think. I'm just going to tell it how I normally would tell it, how I naturally would tell it to a native speaker. Here we go. Um, imagining that next year there will be uh, this guy named Hurley, and he will be a cynic. He won't believe in love. He will hate dating and romance. In fact, he won't even flirt with girls, and he won't get a cell phone. His sister is going to be overwrought worrying about him. She's going to say, Hurley, just try. You might meet a beautiful girl and fall in love. When she says that, Hurley will say, you're a lunatic. I'll never fall in love. And Hurley's sister will say, I predict you will fall in love. Then she will give Hurley a cell phone and say, this is for you. It will come in handy for dating. The next day, Hurley will go to a coffee shop. He'll see a beautiful, busty, blonde woman. She'll see him too. She'll walk over to him and say, you are so cute. Can I have your phone number? Of course, Hurley will be shocked, but he'll give her his phone number. The next night, they'll go on a date and they'll fall in love. Hurley's sister will call him after the date and will ask, so what's the dirt? Hurley will say, well, you called it. I fell in love and I'm happy. It's just what the doctor ordered. Okay, well, actually, I did tell it all in the future, pretty much, uh, except for the quotes, but the rest of it I told in the future, a little more naturally this time than some of the other stories. Um, what I would like you to do now is go back, listen to each version of the story again. Listen many times. Just first, just listen. Just learn to naturally hear the difference with the time changes. After that, listen to one version, then pause. Tell that version yourself. Begin the story with five years ago, then tell all of the story. Then listen to the next version. Pause. Begin the story with since last year and tell the whole story again using that time period. And then finally, tell the story one more time. Listen to the last version, then stop and tell it yourself. Start with next year. There will be a cynic named Hurley. Okay. If you keep doing this with every lesson, you will naturally begin to internalize, to remember these common verb tenses, these common time frames that we use in English every day in conversation. Just relax. Don't try to memorize any kind of difficult grammar rules. Don't worry about the grammar names. Just practice doing these stories again and again and again and again, many, many, many times, three, four, five, six months. Believe me, I promise you will get better. Okay, I'll see you next time. Next up, after you finish this, go to the commentary. Okay, bye-bye.